Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Brian, we are back, and I have a fun video for tonight. So generally, I always end the show, and I make a mention to the Entry Proof Podcast, I make a mention to the lives that I do with Drew P. Whiskey, and you know, make maybe a slight mention about the picks that we do. But it's always usually really short, and today, the whole video that I'm talking about is this upcoming pick that Drew and I are doing and uh, right now, the only way that you can access these picks, as I usually mention at the end of my videos, is by being a Patreon member. But I want to talk about this because it's such a unique whiskey that, that I just had to bring it on the show. And that is the Dancing Goat American Corn Whiskey, seven years old. This is called the Spaniard. It's on here marked as Stillman's private stock. There's a whole story about this, and Drew talked with the guys about this and I'll link that video down below. You can watch it after you watch this video, but check out how dark, how dark this is. This is 100% corn whiskey. It was aged in used barrels and then it was finished in toasted and charred Spanish oak. It's interesting because corn whiskey is going to be, is generally very sweet and soft and have some nuances uh, along those lines. And then they talk about this, but you know, Spanish oak can get a little bit abrasive, bring out a little bit of tannins. So when uh, I actually wasn't able to go on the dancing goat pick that we did, but Drew did go and he brought a group of guys and we're actually gonna bring in two at least and maybe a third barrel for our Patreon members. This is the first of which that's going to be coming out. It's actually landed already. Our Patreon members already have access to this or should at the time of recording this video. And what we do normally is people in our Patreon group, they get first access. After that, we'll open up a link live, generally on the lives that we do on his channel on Thursday night. So this coming Thursday at the time of recording this, uh, and the link will be in the video should that be available still for you all to purchase, but I don't know how long it's gonna last. Very unique product. Um, upon, yeah, so I didn't go on the pick, but Drew had told me that this was uh, just such a unique pour and when i first got a bottle of it i did not know what to think about it i don't want to get into the whole story again there's a video down below you can watch after it to talk about the story of this pick plus we've mentioned it on past videos before but in drinking this american whiskey the first thing that came to my mind in regards uh to what to what its flavor profile was was old carter's american whiskey and so i actually have poured out the dancing goat that i'm going to talk about and then we're going to talk a little bit about this old Carter American whiskey batch two, I believe as comparison. Let's dive right in. Oh, man, the nose right away. It's It's got this chewy like, or alluding to chewiness, uh, uh, sweetness to it. There's toffee, there's butterscotch, there's cake batter and spiced cherries. Let's go ahead and dive into the palette. Ma'am, this is super unique. It's got this grape candy or grape Twizzler-like sweetness. It's Luxardo cherry. It's buttery and chewy and creamy on the palate. It's got um, uh, pipe tobacco. It's got oak. It's got these big, bold pepper and nutmeg spice notes to it. Mm. This, it's got this slightly damp oakiness to it that I just can't get away from. It's got a sweetness as it finishes that I feel like reminds me of like a barrel proof um, scotch. It's got these kind of um, wine finished scotch like notes to it. So it's musty, it's big, it's bold, it's spicy, a little bit oaky. Man. This is crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to the old Carter to compare. The old Carter right away, a lot more um, oak, a lot more leather, kind of that kind of old MGP note with these big bursts of kind of cherry note in there too, brown sugar. Big and sweet, confectiony, inviting, kind of a little bit of grain and some honey. Let's taste. Yeah, the palate is huge. It's got, these big kind of medicinal cherry notes, but I like it. 
Um, it's got a striking spice that kind of is very thin, very pointed, very specific that runs right up in the mid palate. It's almost ch uh, chili-like in that spice, like chili oil. It's got licorice notes. And then it finishes with a slightly dry uh, leather, maybe a touch tobacco, not as much oak, more so that that uh, tobacco note, or the leather note. What I love, what I love is then going back to the dancing goat after that. Oh, man, the note, uh, the nose is still sweet in a lot of ways, but going back to the palate, coming after the old Carter, there's so much more vanilla, there's so much more easy drinking raisin fig notes that come out, but it's still pretty dangerous at 62.2%. Uh, Man, this is something I'm really excited about for its uniqueness, especially coming from Dancing Goat. I feel like this is a brand you don't see picks from. Uh, it's exciting that we have one. Uh, a corn whiskey, that's exciting. Scotchy notes, exciting. Seven years. This is going to be a really solid product in, in the craft section. This is something I don't usually talk about, and it's something that is going to be, I think, really unique of a pick to bring to you all. Um, really fun. Really fun pick. And the price point, again, compared to what the old Carter's going to be, uh, I think you'll be really surprised. Flavor profile, again, doesn't exactly match, but the, the drinkability, I really like a lot of the flavors that I have in this, even more so maybe than the old Carter because of how striking that kind of um, spice note is. It's a little disjointed for um, a regular pour, even though it does have a lot of oak um, characteristics that I do like, leather characteristics that I do like. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning into that. I hope that was helpful just to see you again. Man, I'm real excited about this. This is something I wasn't sure about at first. And I told Drew, uh, I don't know. It wasn't until I let it air out a little bit, came back to it, that I was like, man, this, there's something really unique about this. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Again, if this is available, there'll be a link down below in the show notes when it is available to you all. It will not be right away. It's only going to be available for Patreon members. So I'll put that information for Patreon down below as well. You can find out how to tune into the live that Drew and I will do and how we normally do those on Thursday nights. Uh, access to the Patreon, all that stuff. Follow me online, Instagram, uh, however it is. Shoot me messages if there's other things you want to hear me talk about. I know this video was a little different than normal, but I just am very excited about this, and I wanted to get some more content about it, especially for those who have followed us a little bit and they've heard us talk about these on the live streams, but maybe you wanted to actually hear a little bit of a review. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks to the Patreon members for checking out this pick. I think you're going to love it. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you later.